Hey guys, Retro John here, and today I'm going to be going over a couple of figures from the Wave 2 line of the Star Wars The Last Jedi figures. This is Comageddon. Let's get to it. Okay, so, um, back on Force Friday 2017, uh, just before that actually, um, I introduced you to three figures uh, from that line. Uh, being uh, Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, and Jedi Training Rey. Uh, this time, Wave 2 figures are just now starting to hit the stores. Uh, I just got mine at Walmart, and these are the two that I decided to pick up and show off. A new Luke Skywalker figure. And we have a new Princess Leia figure. I'm not sure what's with the glare. <laughs> Honestly. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these a little further. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and start with the Luke Skywalker figure. Um, and I think it looks really cool. Now, I thought the, um, the last Luke Skywalker figure we got was cool looking. This is really cool. Now, just like with the last one, I only bought one, and I'm not planning on opening him up, so we're just going to take a look at him inside the package. However, I did buy two Princess Leia figures. I'll get into that when we get to this figure. So I will be able to show you the articulation on these figures. So let's go ahead and check out the Luke Skywalker Jedi Exile figure. Uh, there we go. Again, I'm not sure why there's a glare. So here we have the same awesome artwork uh, that's been featured on the other um, Star Wars figures. We've got the amazing figure inside with an awesome staff. We can see that he is part of the Force Link series. Name on the side along with the Hasbro. Um, I've actually kept the um, packaging from the Force Awakened figures and the um, Rogue One figures, just because I love the artwork on them. And I'm probably going to end up doing that with any of the duplicates I buy, or just the ones I buy and decide to open. So let's go ahead and turn it over to the back side here. Uh, this is where, again, the disappointment in the packaging for me lies. Um, first off, we have the uh, Force Link device. It comes with the exclusive Kylo Ren figure. We got the Force Link here and how it works along with the Luke Skywalker figure. And as you'll notice, nowhere on the packaging does it tell you what other figures are in the line or even in Wave 2. To find that out, you're going to have to go online and find some type of a checklist. So that bothers me. I'm somebody who, when I buy a figure or a toy, I like to know what other figures are in the line so I know what figures to buy. So point off for that um the figure itself though however looks uh really really cool uh he's, he's luke how is he not cool so uh yeah so there we go and again uh this one i'm not opening up but that brings us to the princess leia uh, I'm sorry, General Leia Organa. She'll always be a princess to us, right? So again, we have the Princess Leia figure. Awesome artwork featuring the character, the name, Hasbro logo. Warning, small parts. It's because she comes with this awesome blaster here. Got the Force Link here. Figure um, displayed in the nice Star Wars bubble. And you'll notice on these, fi on these uh, Last Jedi figures, the term Last Jedi does not show up. On the logo or the packaging so unlike the last time we had force awakens and we had rogue one no last jedi on these um this is kind of curious uh, again on the back we have the force link device with the figure uh again no figures to indicate what else is in the wave so as i said i did buy two of these uh layers so i can open one up uh, I bought two because, quite frankly, this is going to be the last uh, General Leia, Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher figure we get from a newer Star Wars film, unfortunately. There are going to be other figures, I'm sure, made of General Leia and Princess Leia, but this is the one that's, you know, from the newest movie, 
and uh, yeah, so little heartstring tug there. So let's go ahead. I have the figure here opened up, and as it showed before, you'll see that she does come with a blaster. Uh, it is very tiny, and it is kind of soft plastic. Uh, so soft, in fact, it is really hard to get in her hands, uh, which you can see are opened, but they're kind of tiny. Uh, she does wear this robe, which is a very flexible, very pliable plastic. Um, it does look like, it, if you wanted to, you could take it off. Um, it doesn't appear to really be glued in. In fact, yeah, you can see that it actually kind of... Oh, no, it is It is glued on back. In the back here, it does. it is glued. So, this is non-removable on them, so... Uh, I guess if you really wanted to work at it, you could take it off. But I think she looks pretty cool with it on. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, her head here does move from side to side, up and down slightly, side to side, uh, very slightly. Uh, her arms can go up and down, forward and backwards. Uh, her legs can go forward out. And you will notice, however, that they are hollow. <laughs> And you can see at the bottom, they're very, they're hollow. Uh, unlike the original vintage, they would be solid plastic. And you can actually hear there's something moving around in there. And I think it might be the chip in there somewhere. I don't know. But it's really weird uh, seeing that these are hollowed out like that. But those feature a peg. So you could, you know, essentially if you wanted her, if you have a Dead Star playset, for instance, you can plug around one of the pegs there. So, she's pretty cool looking. And uh, she's got some nice paint details here. A little bracelet here. So, now, I have with me the Black Series General Leia that came out. And uh, just kind of for a little bit of a comparison. Um, now, I didn't review this figure. So, this figure, as you can tell is I don't like this one. Um, this one looks more like a wicked stepmother <laughs> that does Carrie Fisher or General Leia as opposed to this one here. Uh, this one at least makes an attempt to look like the character while this one just really doesn't do a good job. Doesn't do the character justice. So, uh, And I had bought two of these too and she's displayed on my Star Wars shelf. So, this one definitely better than the two. So, and uh, as I said, the gun here that she comes with, a little tiny gun, will fit right in her hand. And then she's ready to shoot it out. So, let's put her right there. So, alright guys, there you go. There's my review. Uh, now, these are part of the uh, Wave 2 of the uh, Star Wars Last Jedi figures. Uh, some of the other figures I found was uh, the Benicio the Tiro um, figure DJ. Uh, I also found R2-D2. These are characters I didn't pick up uh, as I was, just, I was just kind of interested in these uh, for right now. And uh, so I thought, what the heck, I'll grab them, I'll review them. Now you know they look really cool. Uh, I will be getting the other characters in the uh, in the run. So whether or not I uh, do a review on them or open up and display them, as up in the air right now. But uh, they do look cool. Uh, a lot, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the five point articulation. I kind of like the five point articulation on these guys because it's reminiscent of the vintage line. And if you want to display them with your vintage figures, they kind of work together. And uh, so there you go. All right, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in to Comageddon TV, my review of the Star uh, Star Wars Last Jedi uh, figures here. Uh, please, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Have uh, do a comment below. I'll get it out yet. <laughs> go ahead and comment below. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button so you make sure you can get uh, on to stay on top of. All the Comageddon TV goodness. And until next time, Retro John here.